So welcome cybersecurity community. We have something very excited to showcase you and I can actually not wait. So this is why I'm so excited today. So first of all, a little bit of backstory. So to do reverse engineering, to find bugs or to do malware reverse engineering can be one of the most difficult tasks and very time consuming. Many of us do not even have the required background in programming and to go into this field will take a tremendous amount of time and can take up to years. And with the fast basic technology, it can be very overwhelming to step into this world. Therefore, many security professionals do not even believe that this is something they can ever achieve and that this is something only for the best people in the world. Now, to solve this problem, we have built something very cool. This is a specialized AI tool called Genie. Genie will do all the hard work for you. And as the name implies, it is really a genie in a bottle and does all the hard work for you. And it speeds up your work with 20x at minimum. So this means not only usable for people who do not understand this stuff, but also for people who are already working in this field and to make their life very fast. Because doing reverse engineering is a very hard task. The cool part is that Genie is now your own very hardworking vulnerability researcher that can do reverse engineering, fuzzing and find bugs and explain them to you. Oh yeah, by the way, you know what? You don't understand it? Chat with Genie to understand more clearly how the vulnerability works and how you can reach some of the input that is required, for example, to reach the bug. And this is actually quite cool and I'm super excited to showcase you this. And you can do all of these parts all with talking to Genie and get you more information about your target. Now anyone can do more advanced reverse engineering, advanced buzzing with only a few clicks away. Sounds too good to be true, right? Okay, let's have a demo and let's see this in action. Now, let's see Genie in action. Now that you're here, you can also see our new website, which is going to be launched next week together with the new Genie. So now let's go and see this out. So anyone who has access to our platform will also be invited to give it a try. But first, the people who bought our courses will be the first one to try out Genie. So let's go to my profile. And in our profile, you will see an other tool in here which is called genie and you can click genie from here but genie is also available on its own website where it can do more than only android or mobile devices so in here we will try the mobile version so i'll click on this and we'll start up genie i'll upload an android application and start upload what this will do it will start analyzing the application and get all the java vulnerabilities in the meantime and it will spin up the device and start instrumenting the binary now what this will help us to do is we can start using the application functionalities and it will start looking for vulnerabilities in the functionalities that we are using it is also possible to do it without the instrumentation and directly see all the vulnerabilities that it will find and do the whole AI analysis of the whole application. We will wait until the application spins up. We can see that the device is ready and the device will start up. And once the device has started up, we can see that it don't install the application already. We can use the console. And this is a different console that we created ourselves in here. And this is not a standard uh, console. So once this is done, I will press the stop button over here and that should already give me the results of the libraries that are in this application. Now, in this case, it is looking for any JNI uh, function calls. This is the native part of the Android application that we loaded in and it will look for vulnerabilities right now using the AI capabilities that it has. We'll wait for this to be finished. And in the meantime, Genie is learning about the whole application and making sure that we can start using Genie. So let's see what it says. It says there are no format stream vulnerabilities available on this application, but it found a possible buffer overflow vulnerability. And when we look at this more closely, we can see that there is indeed uh, a real vulnerability happening. But the problem is this makes it very hard for us to read. And I also promise you that there is a auto reversing functionality and I will explain what that does. So in here, we can see that there are a lot of undefined and weird parameters that we don't know what they are actually exactly meant for. In a typical reverse engineering process, we will go through all the code and then start modifying the variable names to the meaningful variable names that reverse engineering figured it out. Now, what we can do in here is we can start doing the auto reversing 
Now in a large application you will see also a lot of sub functions which do not have symbols and what Gini will do it will start learning from the whole application and give a better understanding of these variables and start filling them in. So let's see how this goes in action. So I'll press the auto reversing and this will take a couple of minutes because it will start learning all the sub functions to get a better understanding and to make sure that these variables are actually a good naming for them. Let's wait until this finish. We can see that Gini has now done, done some auto reversing. As I explained previously, you can see that these are changed. The types are changed. It will give us a good understanding what they are meant for. And this is good for us because typically in a reverse engineering steps, this is what we would do and give the code a better understanding. Now everything is done. We can see it has changed this type and give it a different name and also the source data, destination data, and it looks more readable for us. Now, there's also another thing. While it starts learning and get a better context of what is going on, it is now being able to give us a better analysis of it. It will tell us that this is a JNI function called from the main activity from the Android application and it takes four parameters and it will tell the rest of it and it will say accepts a byte array and a length of byte array. Now, if we go look further down, we can see that it it says that there is a buffer overflow and the function memcopy is used to copy a byte array into allocated memory. And it will explain further that if the length of the byte array is greater than the size of the allocated memory, it can lead to buffer overflow. Now, the next thing that comes is we would like to verify if this vulnerability is really a vulnerability. So for that, typically in a normal offensive security research, we would actually start building a fuzzing harness to fuzz this function. And as many of us know, that is very time consuming and it requires quite a lot of skill set to do this because you have to have a background in programming and most of the time quite a lot of understanding of the binary itself. Now, since Gini has a very good understanding of this binary and he can now act as a vulnerability researcher for you and assisting you. Now, let's see this in action as well. I'll press the start fuzzing and it will do JNI fuzzing on the target. And the cool part about this part is that it will start doing the fuzzing using AFL+. Plus. As we can see over here, it immediately started doing the fuzzing. As I said, this is actually quite fast. Normally, this will take quite a lot of time to develop already. Now, the best thing is that Genie is able to build a fuzzing harness in a very cool way. It doesn't matter what type of function it is and the data types that it has, it will be able to build a fuzzing harness for you. So that makes things super easy. Now, in this case, we are using a, a sample application for the demo purposes. In the next release, I will do a demo where we are going to fuzz a lot of different type of applications. We have tested this out and found already quite a lot of very interesting bugs and hope to release this in the coming weeks. Now, if this is not enough, we can still go back to the results that we have in here and start going through over them while the fuzzing still continues. We can go back in here and see this continuing. And the cool part is if we want to go a little bit further and we want to understand a little bit more about this application, we could ask Gini about the application itself. So we could ask him like, hey, what is the functionality this? So we'll wait for the data to be returned. And it actually tells us that the provided code does not give a full description of the app's functionality. However, it appears to be an Android application that set up a server on port 6000 and also methods for displaying an alert box. And so it knows quite a lot of stuff from the application itself. So it is very easy for us to ask questions. We could, for example, ask it, how can we reach this function? How can we reach the and we can wait until it answers. And you can ask many type of questions. You could even ask like, how uh, can I trigger the vulnerability that we found previously? And you can see over here, it very nicely answered that there is a native uh, function declared in the main activity, which says all the other stuff. And it will explain con very clearly and this takes quite a lot of time to do all this stuff uh, if you have to do all this stuff manually. Now you can just chat with an AI and it will give you all the answers. 
and this will speed up your reverse engineering and your vulnerability research quite a lot because all these steps usually take quite a lot of time. So let's see, our fuzzer is still running and we can see new edges are being found. So this is going quite well. And this was the demo. So if you like to get access to Genie, make sure that you are already uh, registered on the Mobile Hacking Lab website. We are launching Genie.ai in the next coming days. So you will be able to register there as well. And in the beginning, we will start giving a lot of access to a lot of people. And if you want to be one of these beta testers, many of our course attendees will get first uh, access to the tool to use it and uh, hopefully also publish their vulnerabilities very soon. So thank you very much. And let me know in the comments what you think about this.